from uh, one of you, I got uh, feedback that my film uh, illustrating uh, the final test is uh, not so good. The quality is b uh, poor. So I decided to uh, register uh, an hour uh, an, a new version. Uh, let us hope that this time will be really good, uh, manageable, and uh, will be also useful for those of you who decided uh, to make uh, the final exam in form of the test. Many of you who participated uh, regularly on uh, our class, the history of philosophy in the United States or in Americas, uh, asked many questions and uh, or made uh, comments and uh, both questions and comments are valid as uh, part of your active uh, participation in the course. So uh, please, those of you who are still uh, uh, looking uh, if uh, they want to send me questions or comments or if made a test, uh, both possibilities are uh, open for you. Uh, the term of the final exam is already fixed. It will be uh, February 4th at 10, from 10 to 12. Uh, These two hours are reserved for you on the campus platform. And uh, on uh, one day before, I will put uh, all names uh, of those of you who uh, decided to make final test uh, uh, exactly in this uh, platform uh, formula. I have to admit that I still uh, uh, am, am not so familiar with technical side. I will take part on the course two days before, which uh, uh, our computer center, the university, organized for all teachers. Uh, and I will take uh, this uh, course, uh, schooling, how to manage all the technical uh, side of uh, this uh, final test. I'm sure it will be not uh, very uh, stressful. Uh, those of you who spend this semester reading, uh, reflecting, will be uh, certainly uh, familiar with uh, questions and answers, so read carefully and uh, answer after some reflection. Uh, as I mentioned already several times in class, this test uh, has uh, two parts. Uh, three questions are um, more uh, theoretical and uh, please uh, focus your attention on those three uh, elements, three questions, because they uh, will be um, by, uh, evaluated as your uh, personal contribution to the understanding of the tra historical tradition. Uh, the, all are the rest, six uh, points are more controlling your knowledge, uh, names or titles of works is, is not so important, but nevertheless uh, is important because you are recollecting uh, the final sum of points. And now I will tell you what to expect. So um, you will have, uh, as I said, 10 questions. I will read them and I will make some suggestions to you and uh, the rest uh, just uh, think uh, and, and answer as you think uh, the answer will be, uh, will be the right one. So now I'm going to read uh, the final test. Uh, all questions, of course, uh, not giving you answers, but suggesting answers because uh, it should be your personal uh, 
uh, involvement, your personal knowledge, which you put uh, on uh, solving these questions, uh, uh, typing your answers. So, again, February 4th, uh, from 10 to 12, you will have access uh, to um, uh, the final exam of our course. And you will find this uh, uh, 10 questions. First, this is the one which I consider the most uh, interesting for, from my point of view as a teacher. Uh, namely, what is philosophy? Give your definition. We dedicated a lot of time, not only explicitly to answer this question, but also dealing with more specific questions. All the time I was trying to encourage you to think about what is really philosophy. Is a love of wisdom, as etymology is suggesting, Greek word, Sophia and philo. Sophia, wisdom, philo, uh, love, that you love wisdom. But perhaps philosophy is something else, it's the expression of your um, inner uh, life or perhaps it's just description of the entire world, or perhaps uh, is uh, an attempt to understand the mystery of uh, uh, human being, or the relationship with, with uh, transcendence. You know, there are many possible answers here, but of course, please don't write an essay about what is philosophy, but just put in uh, four, five sentences, what according to you is a philosophy. I will appreciate very much your original contribution. And for this answer, if it will be good, creative, original, you would get five points. And altogether, uh, you will collect 20 points. And if it will be the case, you will, you will get five. Also, if you will get 17, uh, you will get also 5. So from 17 to 12, 5. From 13 to 16, 4. From uh, 9 to 12, uh, you will get 3. And if you will collect less than 9, uh, you will fail. I hope nobody will fail, but please, uh, treat it seriously because if you will fail it means that you will have to repeat this exam. So already if you answer uh, in the original uh, way you, uh, the first question you will have five points. The second question for which you will get four is the methods of philosophizing. Methods of philosophizing. So please uh, think about how, according to your understanding, according to your knowledge, how philosophers in the past formulated their philosophical ideas. So the different genre of philosophizing. It could be a philosophical treatise, it could be a personal confessions, it could be a, could, it could be a letter, a dialogue, uh, and so on and so on, poem even. So please write s briefly your own uh, image of different uh, way of writing philosoph philosophy in the past. If you will get four, it means that you will have already nine points. Five and four, nine you have three already. Uh, and the third, also a theoretical uh, question, how philosophical ideas shape reality? So please think about, again, creatively, originally. Think about the relationship between philosophy and uh, real life, daily life, pop culture, literature music perhaps you know nietzsche was fascinated by music so for example and between uh, 
uh, Nietzsche and uh, Richard, uh, Richard Wagner was the relationship, hate, love relationship. So, for example, philosopher could influence uh, literature. Uh, for example, the, the Polish Pope John Paul II was the philosopher and he influenced through this his philosophy a, a, a church, the life of the institution. So, again, different uh, possibilities or oh, the founding fathers of the um, American constitutions. They were philosophers and they shaped uh, the most important legal text of uh, United States. So here the, the impact of philosophical ideas is clear. Of course, sometimes this uh, impact of philosophy could be uh, negative. Uh, think about uh, which uh, philosophy influenced uh, uh, Lenin, Stalin or Hitler. So you have uh, uh, dictators uh, who are using, abusing, manipulating philosophical ideas for an uh, ob obsessive uh, totalitarian system. Again, also here philosophy could be taken into consideration. So this is three important questions and for this third you will get also four. So already you will have 13. You see, 13 means the minimum to get four. And now is a very simple uh, number of questions which will add to your uh, amount of points. Each question will be one point. So fourth, who invented the concept of religion as a cultural system? And you have three names, Abraham Joshua Heschel, Ludwig Wittgenstein or Clifford Geertz. So please think about who could be a cultural um, uh, anthropologist who invented it. Uh, so think about who was the cultural anthropologist, who wrote about, we dealt in class uh, extensively about, but it's your choice. Why Hypatia was killed? We discussed this in class, you remember? Uh, she was brilliant, charismatic teacher, and someone was uh, uh, nervous about her, was irritated by her, was treated her as a, a threat, and it was the cause of her elimination. So it was religious reasons, philosophical reasons, or political reasons. Up to you. Think twice which reasons were more uh, decisive in this complex of motivation of mob which uh, killed her. A brilliant philosopher, as I said. Uh, the next. Who is the author of theological political treatise? David Hume, Baruch Spinoza or John Locke? Again, we focused on this uh, treatise, uh, theological political treatise. We spoke in class about the author. Uh, we, uh, you asked me many questions about him, so I'm sure you will remember who he was. Uh, the First Amendment, the next question, to the Constitution of the United States is concerned with religious freedom, philosophical system, political regulations. Very easy, I think, answer. Uh, who invented the concept of cool and hot medium? You remember our class dedicated to relationship between um, uh, mass media and philosophy, and it was one uh, philosopher very important who proposed this distinction between hot and cool medium. Who it was? Marshall McLuhan, Walter Ong, or Daniel Dennett? And the, the nine questions, who is considered to be the father of U.S. pragmatism? Again, we spoke a lot about him. John Dewey, Aldous Huxley, Mordecai Kaplan. You remember one of them, will, you, if you indicate the right name, you will get one point. And the last question uh, about the title again, who wrote the, the will to power? William James? Charles Tyler or Friedrich Nietzsche. 
we dedicated to one of them a class. We discuss anti uh, Christ. I mentioned also uh, the will to power. Uh, so I'm sure you will you will uh, indicate the right name. So I hope it uh, my introduction to this uh, final test uh, will be useful for you. Uh, please uh, don't be surprised when you read these questions. Be concentrated. I am sure all of you will get, uh, will get fine. Uh, great. Thank you for your attention and see you on the final exam on 4th of February in the from 10 to 12 MA.